how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is going to be my monthly roundup review. I'm gonna be chatting about all of the makeup that I tried in the month of February. I have quite the pile next to me and I am excited to just give you my overall thoughts, share everything that I've tried, be very transparent on what I've received, and just giving you my overall review of everything. As always, these videos are never intending on me being braggy. It's just a way for me to be transparent on what I've tried and just have one spot for you to reference if you need to see some overall reviews. Before we hop into the video itself, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my channel. It's from my latest reading wrap up, Get Ready With Me. As far as my accessories today go, I, I don't know where anything's from. I'm sorry, these earrings were a gift a while ago and this choker I've had forever. I also don't know where it's from. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about all of the makeup that I tried in the month of February. First things first, I have the Wizard Collection with Fantasy Cosmetica. I did do a full YouTube video playing with this collection if you want to see some inspo. First, we have the Wizard Fragrance. It just smells so good. I, I stand by it. To me, it just smells like clean, man. <laughs> it's very fresh and kind of like rainy day-esque. It's just, it's very nice. It's very refreshing. It's a really nice scent. I think it's good. I feel like it's a good refreshing kind of clean man smell without it being too masculine where I feel like I can't wear it. We have the Celestial Lights Highlight Palette. This is so, so pretty. I love these colors. They are so shiny and beaming and shifty on the face. These are absolutely enchanting. I love these highlighters. I would love to see Fantasy Cosmetica. Maybe not do it with every launch because that could be a little bit overkill, but definitely bring this back. Like do this every so often. Do a highlight palette with a launch because this is such a beautiful formula. And of course we have the Wizard palette. This is beautiful. Nine pans of deliciousness. I love blue eyeshadow and I love blue and yellow together. And this is just such a fun combo. I love the pale banana yellows with all these different blues. We have so many different shimmers and shifts in here. We have a hollow as well. I love this. This is definitely one of my favorite palettes the brand has done. I think it's so gorgeous. The mattes are so pigmented and so blendable and these shimmers are just out of this world. I feel like Fantasy Cosmetica just continues to blow me away. They are one of my top favorite brands. Next up, we have the new Odin's Eye Collection, the original legendary diverse set collaborators. Tina from The Fancy Face, Annette's Makeup Corner, and Judy came back for round two. We have lip products and palettes. And again, I did do a full YouTube video with this collection. I also do tend to do like various videos on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts for additional looks and inspo if you need to see some things. First, we have Tina's palette, the Earthwood. This is so pretty. I really love love the combination of these like lush jungly vibes with the pops of pastel. I think it's a really cool combo. I love Odin's Eyes formula, obviously. We all know. <laughs> I think they're such a good brand. They're one of my favorites. I think the mattes are so beautiful and the shimmers are so, so pretty. And this palette is so cool. I'm really happy for you, Tina. I'm happy for all of these collaborators. Um, this is such a cool color story. We have her lip products. We have one glow gloss and two shine glosses. The shades are Creativity, Brilliance, and Endurance. These are super, super pretty. I'm partial to the glow gloss formula just because I like like that sheer shiny situation, but they're all really pretty, um, various like pinky neutral kinds of tones. We have Annette's Makeup Corner's Mighty Monster Palettes. This one is super fun. I will continue to say it. Uh, this is Jurassic Park to me. I don't know why. It's giving dinosaur and I love it. I think these colors are really cool. They're really punchy and bright and these shimmers are so, so stunning as well. And of course we have her lip products as well. Again, she has one glow gloss and two shine glosses. The shades are Breath of Fire, Mythic rose and snake kiss these are super pretty again just kind of pinky vibes for sure i feel like everyone kind of leaned to a pinky realm but they definitely are all different as well and of course we have judy's spring dragon palette this is so super cute pastel fun super super cutesy i feel like this is a really good addition for the brand in general they haven't really delved into pastels before so i think this is a great addition super super cute and of course again we have the three lip products we have two shine glosses and one matte lip the shades are buttercup dahlia and tulips again super cutesy very pinky. These ones are very like florally pinky kind of vibes and I think they're super cute. I think these lip products are all super comfortable and I enjoy them. Milk Makeup came out with the Forbidden Candy of blush sticks. These are the cooling jelly blush sticks and these are so fun. They are definitely biteable. I have not bitten mine, but I want to very badly. The shades are Burst, Chill, Splash, and Spritz. We have various like pink, peach, red, berry. These are super cute. These are supposed to be for the cheek and the lips. I personally don't really use them on the lips. I just use them on the cheeks. I use these a lot the first half of the month. It was pretty much my go-to. I feel like these are 
sheer and glowy, but they can be built up really nicely and they do just look really gorgeous on the skin. And it's not too often that I'm down for like more of a sheer blush formula, but there's something about the buildability of this and the glow that it leaves on the skin that makes me really like these. I think they're fun. I think they're cutesy, very fun for like spring and summer, especially not only for the colors, but just the texture. It feels very cooling. It's very fun. It's it's a fun little product. Is it kind of gimmicky? Yes, but I also love it. <laughs> the brand Ilya sent me some things to try out. Uh, they let me kind of pick from a list of products and this was my first time trying the brand. First is this The Base Face Milk. I've been using this kind of in between skincare and primer. I've just kind of like put a layer on this before I start doing my makeup and I've liked it. I feel like it adds a boost of hydration. It sinks into the skin nicely. I actually really like this. This is probably my favorite of the five things that I'm gonna talk about. Next is the Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40. I wore this pretty much the majority of the month. I'm wearing a different one today that I will talk about here in a moment, but I have liked this. It's a really nice kind of lightweight serum-y foundation. It's more on the lighter end of coverage and I enjoy it. I think it's nice. It's hydrating. It feels good. I can't say it's my favorite thing in the world, but I like it. I've enjoyed using it so far. I feel like it wears pretty nicely. It's not too heavy. I... I enjoy it, especially if I'm gonna be outside a lot, that SPF 40 is a nice extra boost to have on top of my regular SPF that I would normally apply. I have two of these little multi-sticks. One I got for use as a blush, one I got for use as a highlighter. We have Ladybird. Um, it's such a cute color, but I just feel like it's so sheer and subtle. Like the Milk Makeup ones have a lot more impact than this. It's just a little too unassuming for my taste. And then same with Cosmic Dancer, this one I got with the intention of being like a cream highlighter. It just doesn't really do much. I'm very picky with cream highlighters though, so I'm not surprised. It's just, it's just too subtle for me. Not my favorite. It didn't necessarily disrupt my makeup or anything, but it's just not enough. And then I have the, the brow gel in clear. Um, I had a feeling this wouldn't be my vibe. I feel like I need a really strong hold brow gel. And this one's just not quite strong enough. Yeah, it's just, it's very lightweight. Honestly, I'm probably gonna disrupt my current brow gel by doing this. Um, it's just a little too lightweight. My brows are stubborn. I need like super glue and this one's just not quite super glue enough for me. Blend Bunny came out with a new mascara. This is the Omni Lash. I actually did do a little try on video for like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts. And I actually quite like it. Um, usually I have to, have to, have to use a waterproof mascara because my lashes are very straight and they're very stubborn. They don't want to hold a curl and waterproof is the only way to go for me. This one is one of the first regular mascaras that I feel like does make a little bit of a difference without it being waterproof. Now, if Blend Bunny ever comes out with this formula in a waterproof version, it's going to be game over because I feel like this already has so much potential. And if it was waterproof, it'd be unbeatable. Um, but I really do like it. I've worn this a lot, like wearing it underneath my false lashes, or I'll even do this as a second layer after I've applied one layer of a waterproof mascara. I think it's pretty good. And I like that they didn't make any crazy claims with this mascara. They're like, it's simply just a good mascara. It's not gonna change your life. It's just a good mascara. And I feel like that's great marketing because so many mascaras act like it's gonna pay your bills for you. Kate Somerville sent me a new serum. This is the Supercell Rejuvenation Serum. So I just squeezed a little bit of it and then like you roll the serum with the little roller ball. It's kind of weird. I do like it. I think the serum feels good. It's very cooling and very, I don't know, lightweight. It feels nice on the skin. Um, that actually feels really good on my hands too. Um, but it's kind of weird. It's a little messy. Like even though it's on this little roller ball, like if you squeeze just slightly too much, it kind of starts to drip everywhere. Um, it's fine. I'm not obsessed with it, but I will continue using it. I think it feels good on the skin. Um, it gives my like normal to dry skin, a little bit of boost, a little bit of nourishment. Um, but I'm not like living, breathing, dying over it where I feel like I'm going to have to repurchase it the second I run out. Now, one of my top favorite things for the entire month, possibly my top favorite thing for the whole month, are these little Glaminatrix cheek and lip flushers. I will say I don't like this on my lips at all. I don't like the texture. It feels gross to me, but I love this on the face. I'm wearing the shade Sunny right now. I've worn these every single time I've done my makeup since receiving them. These I'm pretty sure are my new favorite like liquid blush formula. They're just so beautiful. I love these colors. I would love to see them expand this color range. These are gorgeous. We have the shades Gentle, Lavish, Petal, Poppy, and Sunny, and they're just so sinking cute. I have a feeling Sunny and Poppy are going to be like go-tos for me in the spring and summer. They're just so adorable. Lavish is such a good kind of terracotta shade. I just, I love, 
I think these are so, so cool. Laminatrix also launched their Pretty in Pastels palette. We're in that time of year again where pastels are all the rage. Um, super cute. We have a fun little 20 pan situation. We have eight shimmers and then 12 mattes. We have eight that are more pastel focused and then we have four deepening shades, which I feel like if you're going to do a pastel palette, having some deepening shades like this is such a great way to kick it up a notch for me. I just like, I like pastels. I enjoy them. I like bright colors. I love fun things, but I also love depth and I love being able to deepen things up a little bit and having just a black and a pastel palette is not enough. All that's going to do is turn your shadows gray because pastel are so white based but having like colors that are deeper to add some depth and richness to your pastel looks I feel like is so nice these shimmers are so beautiful I really enjoyed these formulas I've had fun playing with it I did a full two looks video on my channel playing with this um, if you need to see some inspo and again for pretty much everything I've talked about in this video there's probably like an Instagram reel a YouTube shorts a TikTok stuff like that all the things are out there if you need to see it. Freck came out with the Makeout Club lip pencils and also sent me some lipsticks. I don't know if the lipsticks already existed or not, but I know the pencils are new. They are in the shades one through six. I really, really like these. They're really creamy. They don't seem to budge a whole lot once they are put in place. I really like this formula. I think they are beautiful. I'm wearing number four today with a lipstick, obviously, um, but I can't stop wearing these. I would love to see them expand this range at some point, maybe offer us some cooler tones because these are all pretty warm, um, but I'm really liking these. I think they're beautiful. And then I have three shades of the Makeout Club lipsticks. We have Legend, Shy Hottie, and The Moment. I'm wearing Shy Hottie today. I like these colors. I like the texture. It's a really nice kind of blurred matte finish where it's not I don't know, it's not super heavy. It feels really lightweight and I feel like I could tap it out to get that really blurred effect if that's what I was going for. Um, these last pretty long on me as well. I'm really, really liking these. I'm potentially debating buying more shades at the next Sephora sale, even though I don't need more. I just really like this formula. I think they're really comfy. Ensley Rain came out with the Groovy Garden Collection. We have a palette, some singles, loose shadows, and lip products. Again, I have a full video with the Groovy Garden, and I also have a lip swatch video on like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. Um, but the Groovy Garden palette is so pretty. I love these colors, kind of retro 70s, 60s vibes. I like the combination of the warmth with the pops of like sagey green. I like the pinks. I like the mustardy yellow. The shimmers in here are so, so gorgeous. They're definitely show stopping. I've had a lot of fun with this one. I honestly didn't expect to like this one as much as I did. Um, just because I feel like this one shines so much more in real life than it does in pictures. Like it looked cool in pictures, but actually playing with it and touching it and swatching on it and using it. I've Really, really enjoyed this one. We have five singles in this collection as well. The shades are Far Out, Flower Child, Flower Power, Groovy, and Mellow. Super cute shades. I feel like these play alongside of that palette's color story really well with offering something a little different. We also have four loose shadows. These are so sparkly and so beautiful. I think these are really, really pretty. We have the shades Bell Bottom Bloom, Mellow, Retro Rainbow, and Sunset Sienna. Super, super cute. And then we have the three lip products in the collection as well. We have Bell Bottom Bloom Gloss, Far Out Lip Lacquer, and Glazed and Confused Lip Oil. I really, really like this gloss. I think it's really pretty. It adds a really nice shine and shift. The Far Out Lip Lock Locker, not my favorite texture. It's a little thick for my preference and a little too peachy for my skin. I feel like colors like this look a little weird unless I pair it with a dark lip liner. Um, it's not bad, it's just not my personal favorite. And then the Glazed and Confused is one of those pH balancing lip oils, so it does not look like this. Not on me at least, maybe on you, but on me and my lips, this turns like bright pink, like bright hot pink. <laughs> I kind of wish it looked more like the orange, but it is what it is. The pH balancing lip products are not my favorite thing just because like I kind of just want to know what I'm going to get when I have a lip product. Pixie sent over a few things. Some of them were things I already have or things I wasn't going to use, but these are the things I kept to try out. First is the Flawless Beauty Primer. I love this. I've been wearing this nonstop the last probably week or so. It's really highlighty, glowy. If you do not like a glowy primer, you would absolutely hate this, but if you love it, this is for you. It's so incredibly glowy. I feel like I would totally wear this on like bare skin days just to add like some glow and some life to my skin. I think this is so, so pretty. And then we have the H2O Skin Veil Translucent Powder. This is one of those like water-based powders. I don't think this is bad, but I'm not obsessed with it. 
I could kind of take it or leave it. I, I think it's fine. It didn't make me look cakey or anything, but it also didn't do anything revolutionary for me that I feel like I have to like use this constantly. The e.l.f. Halo Glow remains supreme for me. Lawless sent me over a couple things. They sent me three new shades of their plumping lip balms and also a new gloss shade. This gloss is so pretty. This is one of my favorite formulas of all time for lip gloss. This is in the shade Maple Sugar. Um, gorgeous. I love a brownie gloss. This is so cute. And I have the three plumping lip balms as well. We have the shades Amaretto, Cupid, and Whisper. I think these are pretty cute. I feel like I used one of these sometime last year and I wasn't blown away, but maybe it just wasn't my favorite color because these I actually really like and I can see myself using again and again because they're really easy colors to wear and I really like that slight plumping effect and they also just feel really good on the lips because they are a lip balm at the end of the day. Lethal Cosmetics sent me over some shadows. We have four iridescent trichromes. That's what's in the four corners here. And then five of the like multi-chrome hollows. These are so cool. The iridescent trichrome shades are Callisto, Europa, Eo, and Ganymede. And then the five multi-chrome hollows are Amethyst, Emerald, Garnet, Moonstone, and Sapphire. These are so pretty, so sparkly, so rich with pigment. I'm just so happy to have these. I think these are just going to add such a cool little pop in my collection. We also have six of these little gel flakies. These are super cool. I wore one recently on top of a winged liner and it did not budge all day once it dried down. It was so beautiful. I'm really excited to play with these more. I think these could be really cool additions to any look, just like a really cool sparkly effect without it being glitter because the flakies aren't glitter. They're flakies and they don't like hurt your eyeball or anything like that. These are super, super cool. The shades are Cosmic, Gamma, Infrared, Ultraviolet, Wavelength, and X-Ray. These are sparkly and magical and beautiful. And just what a cool product launch. My only hope is these last long-term because I've tried some from brands that last a long time and some that really don't, they'll dry out. And I know you can do things to revive them, but I don't want to force a product to stay revived. I want it to just last, you know what I mean? Um, so here's to hoping. I'm going to keep these sealed very tightly and hopefully actually use them a lot before they die because I, I would love to use these more. I got a package from Fenty with some of the matchsticks. They sent me a couple of the contours and this is the one that I kept. I felt like it would work best for my skin tone. It's in Amber Suede. I wore it today as kind of my like contour bronzer situation and it's really nice. I've never used the matchsticks before in my entire life, um, but this was really creamy, really easy to blend out. I really like the color of it. Um, this has potential to become one of my new favorite sticks. It was really beautiful to work with. Then I have three of the shimmer sticks. I have the shades Yacht Life, Confetti, and Ice Cream. Yacht Life I was using kind of as like a blush. And it was fine. It's cute. It's blendable. It has a nice kind of peachy, shifty situation. It's, it's nice. I'm not obsessed with it, but it was good. And I have two others that would work more as like a traditional highlight. Ice Cream. I feel like it's cute like it added a nice glow but it's also a little subtle like this isn't going to be my favorite between the the contour and the yacht life stick um this one might just remain a little too subtle for my preference and i also have the shade confetti which i haven't used yet this really pretty iridescent purple i really need to use that soon because like are you kidding me that's so pretty and it seems like it blends out really nice i just need to see how it translates on the actual skin i'm gonna try to make it a priority to use this if i don't already have a video up on like instagram tiktok youtube shorts by the time this video goes up it'll be coming soon I definitely want to play with this one. I got Dievrune Cosmetics latest launch. I got the palette, one of the loose shadows, and one of the cake liners. The loose shadow I picked out was Distress Daisy. The brand asked me which one I wanted, so I picked this one. I haven't worn it yet, but it's so cute. This kind of peachy, orangey yellow. Adorable. I have the cake liner. I don't know the name of this one off the top of my head, but it's the, the purple orange one. I'm wearing it today a little bit. Super cute, love it. And of course the star of the show is the Gloomy Gardens palette. I was really looking forward to trying this out. I should have gotten it a lot sooner, but it got lost in the mail, but it finally made its way to me. Um, but I'm wearing it today. I think it's so cool. I really like the combination of the swampy greens with the turquoise, with the peach, with the purple, and even like this smoky like grayish row over here. I think this is super duper fun. I'm really enjoying this so far. So uh, like I said, I did play with this um, in my latest reading wrap up, Get Ready With Me, but I also plan on playing with this again over on Instagram TikTok, YouTube short. So if that's not already up, it'll be coming very soon. And finally, last but not least, I got a little package from Makeup by Mario. I got the Surreal Skin Foundation and Concealer. I'm wearing both today. I did a little try on over on like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts as well. Um, but I'm enjoying these so far. This has like medium buildable coverage. And even though it's a little bit more coverage than I go for, I tend to like sheer to light. I actually really like this. I feel like it's very natural, glowy looking. It's not overly 
foundation-y and it's also very very lightweight and I found that this wears really well for me so far I've worn it the last few days even going on like long walks in the sun um, and this seems to wear pretty well so I'm very impressed so far and the concealer seems pretty good as well again it's probably closer to like a medium coverage it's very creamy it's very blendable so far I'm really really liking this one too I don't find it feels too heavy under my eyes or anything like that and they'd also sent me two brushes to go along with them and usually I prefer a sponge but these are actually pretty decent for uh, foundation and concealer this is the f4 brush i was using this side to blend out my foundation the first time i used it and it all blended really really well i didn't have weird issues of like pilling or cakiness or anything it was really really easy to work with and then i have the f5 concealer brush which i never use a little brush like this for concealer but this seemed to work really nicely again i don't think those are going to be my go-to just because i do prefer a sponge but i like them and that about says it all for my latest roundup review. I would love to hear your thoughts on all the products I talked about. Do you want any of them? Do you have any of them? Have you tried anything new lately? Have you rediscovered anything in your collection lately that you're in love with? I would love to know. If you end it to the end of this video, leave, oh, I don't even know. Leave some peach emojis. I'm feeling very peachy today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. You can also subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. You can also join my channel memberships. Link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.